Okay, we're doing a little video on scan to Mac, FTP scanning to Mac. Um, I'm going to go relatively fast through this um, because it is kind of a long process. Uh, first thing we're going to do is uh, get on your Mac and go to Google. And we're going to type in FTP scan to Mac. Okay, enter. And then this one right here that says turn on FTP. And now we're in this document here that somebody made. And what we really care about is this uh, this command right here. We're gonna we're gonna cut and paste this. Or copy and paste it. Okay, so now get up get to your desktop here. We're gonna click on the background, and that'll bring up the uh, the go selection in the upper left. So we're going to hit Go and Utility. And that's going to open up the Utility window. Scroll to the bottom and you see the Terminal app. This opens up the Terminal window. There's our Terminal window. Um, I'm going to uh, cut and paste or, uh, paste that command in there. There it is. Hit Enter. It asks for the password now for this computer. And as you type it in, you're going to notice the cursor doesn't move at all. That's normal. So it looks like it's already turned on. That's how you turn it on. Once you put in that password, it's on. Okay, and then we can we can close the terminal window. Okay, now I've got a uh, I've got another window open in my Google that is connected to um, one of my printers. This is kind of an altar right here. So when I get to the uh, Konica Minolta, I'm going to go to the address book. And so I'm hitting that store address tab, and now I'm in here. And you're going to hit the new registration button. Select FTP. Hit OK. Okay, now here we can create a destination. Let's call it uh, FTP Mac. That's a good one, FTP Mac. Let's just do that. Okay, and I'm going to check the main box. You don't need to know why I'm doing that. And we're going to put in the IP address of this uh, this computer. And I'm assuming you're going to know if you're doing this kind of work, you're going to know how to get the IP address. Um, for the computer, um, so I'm not going to tell you how to do that. Uh, in the file path, you just want to put a period. Um, you can put other things like uh, desktop or documents, and it'll go to those places. But the dot just brings it to the root directory, which is the go home folder. And that's what I want. So, so just the IP address and the dot, and then uh, see the anonymous user here? Turn that on. And then uh, hit OK at the bottom. That's pretty much the setup. So now we're going to test it and make sure it works. I return here. It's going to show the, the FTP Mac in the list. There it is uh, right there. So I'm going to walk over to the printer. Okay, let's see if this works. Okay, here's my Konica. Put a page in the top. Select uh, scan. There's my FTP Mac button. Highlight that. Hit my uh, start button. Gonna pull it through. Okay, now we're going to run back to the Mac and see if that came through. Okay, so again, click on the background. And that'll give you that go option right there. Go. And you want to go home, right there. So this uh, this window opens up, and uh, I found it. Uh, I had to look a little bit to find this, but I found it uh, listed under desktop, and then there's a scans, and it showed the today's date. So I, did, I had to do kind of a search by date modified. You know, you click this, and it, it changes what's on top, so the latest stuff is on top. And it didn't find it right on top, so I had to kind of look down, and I saw this one that said today, and that's what time it is right now. And, and so uh, I opened that up, 
and there's a few scans in there and you can see the one I just sent is four o'clock right here and uh, it was a blank piece of paper so when it opens you know it's it's a PDF but it's it was blank I didn't I didn't have anything on it so that this is working so that's how you do it have fun now